Welcome to Back Issues. I'm Sal. I'm Ethan. I'm Ben. So Aquaman is a movie that is coming out, and I actually am kind of excited about yeah. it. Yeah. Honestly, like I look forward to it. Me yeah, too. man. And I can't wait to see it. Jason Momoa is cool. He is cool. Like every time I see him on something, I'm like, I like that guy. I hope he succeeds. I feel mm. bad because he the Conan thing, garbage. He did he did an okay job. Yeah, you know, but the movie itself. No. Sucked. Yeah. Every terrible. vehicle he's in, I'm like, I did not pay attention to it. I hope it works out. Oh, you, you didn't miss anything. You missed nothing. That movie there's, is just a complete dud. There's a new you know. series on Netflix called Frontier. Yeah. Yeah. That he's in. He's in oh, it. is he? Yeah. Have not watched Neither that episode. Neither have I. I never yeah, seen me either. It. No, I just it's, like the guy, apparently. It's because it's about the Hudson Bay Company. Oh, yeah, I don't care about I don't that. care about that. Either way, I'm excited for it. So excited that I busted out my Patrick Gleason designed DC Direct Aquaman and Mera statue for this occasion. It would normally be on the set, but it's just too damn big. It doesn't fit on the shelves. But you may have seen it on our sister show, Good, Bad, and Ugly, because mm-hmm. it's always on that set. But uh, you know, Aquaman book. We rarely do these. But there's an Aquaman movie. We hardly right. ever do these. Yeah. This is the second one we've ever done. Yeah. And we've been on how long now? Almost five years. We've had more volumes of Saga than Aquaman. <laughs> than Aquaman, yeah. So this story is written by Will Pfeiffer with art by Patrick Leeson. It came out in the early 2000s, and there is some debate about the name of this book. What? Because when it came out, it was called American Tidal. You know, like, the Tidal Waters? Yeah. Right. But in this volume, it's called Sub Diego. (laughs) That sucks. Right? (laughs) And that's why I actually went to the source, and I found Will Pfeiffer, and I asked him about the name. Yeah. I said, what is up with the names? When I looked for this story, it was called American Title. I'm like, that's kind of a cool name. Plus, yeah. great Alan Davis covers that feature Aquaman doing heroic things. And Pfeiffer tells me that uh, the idea came from, because the book came out in the early 2000s, there's a show called American Idol. And they thought it'd be kind of fun to do like a riff on American Idol. So the book's called American Title. And I'm like... <laughs> Suddenly, Sub Diego doesn't sound quite so stupid. <laughs> it's still really <laughs> stupid. It's still bad. But I feel like you could come up with a better the title than like either of those. A third one. Yeah. Needs okay. To come no, out. both of them are what terrible. What is this about? Let's... It's about San Diego being drowned. San Diego falls into the ocean, and everyone in it dies. That's pretty brutal. Yeah. Again, I was like, "Hey, Pfeiffer, wh- uh, your idea? It's editorial idea? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah." yeah. So, but just for one city. Right. Apparently, editor Peter Tomasi was like, yeah, what if what if San Diego fell into the ocean? What, uh, that's an idea for Aquaman. Go for it. So he tells... And the, the question... Where is, was Aquaman when that was happening? Why didn't he stop it? He can't lift the city. Now, where was Superman? That's Did question. he at least save people as they were getting huh. swept? No. Oh. I guess he wasn't there. He was not there. Yeah. I love that there's a panda they, from the zoo. I, I love the zoo. The San Diego Zoo. San Diego, but Diego like, Zoo. Basically... Pfeiffer wants to like hit you in the gut immediately with like a powerful, disturbing image that sh- that sells the carnage of the scene. Mm-hmm. And so the images of a panda, <laughs> you know, to the surface. One of these animals that will not procreate or sustain <laughs> itself yeah. and yeah. is probably gonna die because it's just too dumb to eat. The rarest of creatures right. and it died in the most unnatural of circumstances. It drowned. A panda underwater? That's not supposed to be there. Exactly. So that ushers in the next double page splash of just the whole city underwater and Aquaman these bodies. Just, just searching desperately for, for survival. Well, this is the problem. Well, they're underwater. Aquaman, they're not going to be alive. Well, it just happened, there. so he's uh, hoping to catch somebody. Yeah, but uh, Aquaman can't listen to the thoughts of people. He can only listen to the thoughts of fish. <laughs> yeah, All these people are like, struggling. we're drowning, and he's, he's je- deaf to that. Uh, <laughs> he can uh, hear the bubbles he escaping can hear people, and stuff. <laughs> just, just the way we can. If this just happened, how come that man is already like, Three days under. Well, it is the ocean, so he's probably been there for like maybe a couple days. Okay. But the the ravages of the elements, that being seawater and also like ocean life, would result in him being gross looking. Did, oh, yeah, did just this, getting nibbled on. Did this happen at the end of another book, or is this no! the first we hear about it? Yeah. Like for That's me, I'm weird. like, what? San Diego falls into the ocean? When? When? Who was who was on right, watch? Right here, right now, in this book. What? <laughs> I mean, we don't even get to see it happen. Yeah. Does Why? Does this mean that from this point on, in every Justice League and DC story, San Diego was gone? Well, like half of San Diego, most of San Diego fell into the ocean. But yes, until. You know, Flashpoint. But yeah. 
Flashpoint, no. There's no sub D. I see he has his water hand. Yes, uh, Aquaman has this, like, problem with losing his hand. (laughs) Uh, During the Team David era, he lost it and he replaced it with a harpoon. Yep. Um, Then he replaced it with a more advanced harpoon. (laughs) Like, first he got, like, a regular harpoon. He's like, wrap it up. He's like, let's do this. I'm awesome. Then uh, he's like... This hurts. So they replaced it with like a more modified harpoon that also like shoots yeah. like, out and like grapples and stuff. Yeah. And like has a, rope a harpoon or a wire should. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. stuff in. Yeah. yeah. And then the the edge finally dulled off of Aquaman, and they were like, "Let's give him a hand, but we can't just like say grew back." Right. So the hand. He's not like a newt. No, the hand is magic. It comes from the water from Arthurian lore. And the Lady of the Lake granted it to him. He is the Lady m- of the Lake? Yes. But he's an ocean-going creature. How'd he but get he, there? He, <laughs> the Lady of the Lake. We're like, that's a different kind of water, though. Yes. Yeah, no, it's like, doing like a- <laughs> or something. He went to England. Yeah. yeah. Magic water in the shape of a hand. Does that, it? Can he, like, morph it into other stuff? I think he can. Yeah. The other thing that's is cool. he can also, like, punch Superman with it because it's magic. Oh, so that's, that's cool. kind of cool. So, great. He can punch Superman. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, so, so he people could, saying, if like, Superman oh, man, Superman versus Aquaman, like, obviously Aquaman would be destroyed, but, like, he might have an edge because he can turn his water Why would and Superman and Aquaman be fighting in the first place? Why did anybody fight? There's a whole <laughs> movie predicated on that. It's called Batman versus Superman. I know, it's just you like... You know Batman would lose it's, immediately. It's just funny that, like, the first thing you have to say, or the second thing you have to say about this water hand is that, he that this other Superman superhero him. has is that he could punch his friend. Well, Don't worry, he can punch his friend with it. Well, because everyone can... How dare you, <laughs> sir? Slap! <laughs> it's like saying, like, why is Flash on the Justice League if Superman can run essentially as fast as fast as Flash. right and it's like well because we have to establish that flash is much faster than superman I mean, he has the speed force you see yes. superman doesn't have the speed force. but like and well if flash superman, can travel through time and superman can't if superman right. can occupy if superman can op- operate bleh, if superman can operate in the cold vacuum of space mm-hmm. then he could probably go underwater too yeah so what the hell do we need aquaman for right. we need to establish we need aquaman he's got a special thing that's better than what Superman has in yes. one respect. And also, like, yeah, he's half Aquaman, Atlantean, so, you know, the people have to listen to him. I mean, like, only half the time. Yeah. So He also, he controls sea creatures. Superman can can't control, do that. That's right. And that's what distinguishes him. He's got to have another thing. Plus, he's got to have the magic. Yeah. That's not enough. Because Superman punch. could just punch those sea creatures. So it's really not a, a problem for him. Yeah. Well, why would he need them? He's Superman. Right. Like, what do I need help from a dolphin for? I'll just burn it with my heat vision or whatever the hell the dolphin. What was the dolphin going to do anyway? So Aquaman oh, is up flips and shit. <laughs> he's right. He's, he's checking out the the ruins of sub uh, of San Diego, and he's yeah. he's, he's looking for. He, he's found no one. He grabs like a like a doll because you always have to have a doll. Yeah, in a horrible devastation. <laughs> sequence. And uh, and he brings it to the surface. I and don't understand what he's looking. If you find anyone underwater, they're, they're going to be dead. Well, you know, they like, can't maybe possibly they got, maybe still like an be alive. In, one, in a car or in a building. Well, behind a door. <laughs> So he breaches the surface and he finds all these like you know first responders like dealing with it. Right. And he just like the, it, everyone up there doesn't really know because they don't have like their their underwater breathing equipment ready to go yet. They're just right. like they're just dealing with like the outside. He right. Comes up, Anyone lose a doll? <laughs> Basically, he's just like everyone's dead. Right. They're all dead. And so Sorry. he just drops the. And the, he does. He does have the doll. Oh, oh yeah, no, that's of real sad, man. And they're just like, oh my god, like that's horrible. That's that's. And a then lot he of walks people. back into the ocean. And he's just like. Well, yep. Well, I, I live told him not so. to build on a fault line. <laughs> so they build this big, like, sad wall between, like, where San Diego broke in half. Yeah. And uh, the, the and the ocean, which is trying to encroach upon it. I yeah. Mean, it's, just, it's just kind of washing up, but yeah. It's okay. not like the, the it's not like the ocean's alive or anything. But so four hundred thousand people die in wow. the collapse of San Diego, and uh, people are trying to get their bearings over it and. At night, this little boy, who has a shirt from the San Diego Zoo, so obviously he was at the San Diego Zoo, he crawls out of the ocean, and he's like gasping for air, and he crawls on his hands and knees across the beach. They're rushing to the hospital where he dies. Hmm. And the, 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 the medical workers are like, they found you know his records, and they're just like, okay, so like, you know, we... It was great. The, one of the utility workers, or one of the one of the doctors, is like, "So no family?" He's like, "Oh no, we had plenty of family. Mom, dad, brothers and sisters, and I bet they had a great day at the zoo." Right. So my point though is, now no one can complain because we got to cut this kid open and see what the hell happened. 
Right. Like, like how, how, how did he, he live that it? long? Yeah. Exactly. So this is where we establish that clearly what happened is we've done everything we can with Aquaman. We've 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 given him a beard, we grew his hair, we cut off his hand. I don't know what else to do. How do we make him cool? I don't know. Tell interesting stories? Yeah, Let's, could, you, no, could you just leave him that. alone? Let's just make him Batman. What? Let's Batman up on He's underwater Wait, he's Batman? underwater Batman? He's underwater Batman. So no. That might seem weird, and it might not even seem like the story would go in that direction, but try to keep a mental checklist of all the ways that Aquaman becomes Batman in this story. <laughs> First of all, an innocent person is found and is dead. For suspicious reasons. Well, and lots so of people are found dead. The coroner well. brings this person, you know, to the, you know, to the to the morgue. Aquaman shows up wearing like a cool trench coat, and he's like, "This is my domain. This child came from the ocean. I need to know what's up." So he meets up with these doctors, and he's like, "I'm here to lend my expertise." And one of the doctors like actually called him up somehow and invited Aquaman to be part of the autopsy to help like lend his. Expertise. His underwater dwelling expertise. Yes. Okay. Well, when we see some like weird fish hybrid thing pop out of his chest, I assume you're gonna know what it is, right, Aquaman? It's probably. Yeah. I've seen a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> so they're investigating the body, and they find like they're like, look at his wounds, like they're all inflamed, and they look really bad. And, he, and Aquaman's like, yeah, because he's in salt water for a couple days. Like salt water will really make your wound like bad. It'll really screw you up. And uh, so he says, like, this happens when you're in water for a really, really long time. So they cut him open and they find, like, a half-digested fish. Like a full fish. Oh. Uncooked. And they're like, what, what is this? And Aquaman's like, it's a rock fish. They're indigenous to this, to these waters. <laughs> like, oh, th you're really doing a bang-up job. Thank you, Aquaman. Yeah, I could have just gotten a biologist or whatever. <laughs> or just known, because I live near the water. Anymore. Right. Oh, I go fishing all the time. Yeah, I've seen those, too. Yeah. But, uh, Thanks, Aquaman. We never way, would have figured that if, with that fish is without Aquaman you. Aquaman apparently I does. I meant, what is it doing inside of him, Aquaman? <laughs> but Aquaman apparently does need to like be saturated. He does, like, if, he, if he's away from water for too long, like, he'll dry. He'll freak oh, out. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah. So he, like, walks over to, like, a hose in the area. He just starts dousing himself where he's <laughs> grizzled and explaining, like, how bad things are. Okay. And they're like, he goes, you, awesome. gotta, you gotta cut open his throat. You gotta check his throat. And they're like, what exactly am I looking for? He's like, you'll know when you find it. What? So they crack open his throat and they find gills. Gills. Yep. And they're like, uh, did you say gills? This little boy grew gills in like three days? No. No. He always had those gills. Right. Yeah, and they're like, no. I'd say for the last like month or so, this little boy has been breathing water. It wasn't being in the ocean that killed him. It was being out of it. <laughs> <laughs> Why'd he come out then? What? Well, because the little boy, like, was afraid. The idea is that, like, he's underwater, he can breathe water, but he's, like, he's still underwater, and he's right. not from there. He doesn't so like, realize that he's not dying. Exactly. Right. And he also has wounds, apparently. Yeah, he did hurt himself. Yeah. Plus, his family's dead. Yeah. We do establish his family. He, they, they don't find him or anything. Oh, I assumed he was, like, either a mutant. Well, not a mutant. But, yeah. Not like, in this but, universe. Well, technically a mutant in terms of, like, being a mutation from the norm. Yeah. yeah. Right. But, uh, so, Aquaman holds a press conference at the wall, and he's, like... You know, five weeks ago, sub the San Diego fell into the ocean and like all these people died. But there is a reason to hope because amidst the death and destruction, we found life. A little uh, boy crawled out of the ocean and suffocated on the pure <laughs> air that came out of it. And then died. And then died immediately. And then someone from the crowd raises their hands and says, I'm sorry, can we go back to the point where you have dorsal fins on the back of your legs? They're part of my costume. They help me glide through the water. <laughs> Why do they look like they're shark fins? Well, because that's... Uh, because they help sharks glide through the water just yeah. like they help me. Yeah. So if you glide through the water with shark fins and you surface, we're going to think that two <laughs> green sharks are coming at us? If you ever come across me breaching the ocean and you see my dorsal fins on my calves before my head or some insane aquatic adventure, you have my full permission to harpoon my ass. I'm just saying, like, couldn't you have made it a little less threatening? Well, it wouldn't be as functional if it wasn't yeah, the shape what? that nature designed for sharks. Batman has those things on the sides of his hands, and they provide no help whatsoever. He, they're not aerodynamic. They, for all I know, they don't help him glide through the water easily. Oh, I've heard it said that uh, they help him in combat. He can catch blades with them. Okay. <laughs> I bet Aquaman can fight with those two. Probably. Yeah. I'm sure there's a story because we need to make Aquaman like the edgest of lords. <laughs> that like he's backed up into a bad guy and stabbed him through the like leg or chest or whatever. That'd be awesome. So 
Anyway, Aquaman's like talking about like this boy and how we gotta, we gotta find hope and we gotta look in the ocean and check this out. When this woman is trapped by debris and she finally manages to free herself, her name's Lorena, that's a beat established later, but she's like desperately tr- struggling to get to the surface and she breaches right when Aquaman is explaining his little like theory. And she goes and shoves her head underwater. He does. <laughs> he, it's awesome. it's, so it's like Aquaman's like, anyway, blah, blah, blah. And this lady like just leaps out of water and like, oh no! And he runs into the ocean and just goes... <laughs> Oh my god, Aquaman's killing that woman! Jesus Christ, Aquaman! So, <laughs> oh, so she has gills. She doesn't. She's just a person who's swimming. Yeah. She just barely managed to survive. <laughs> I can't take any more chances! So he 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 shoves her underwater and then he he, he reaches out tele- telepathically to Martian Manhunter. Mm. And Jean, over on the watchtower, which is stationed on the moon, teleports the two of them to the watchtower. Where Aquaman's like, okay, cool. And then he runs her over to a tank that he developed with the Justice League so they can check her out. Okay. This is like, I have a theory that some of the people in San Diego grew gills. Were fish people yeah. for a little while. Right, and they're stuck down there. And they are uh, planning an invasion. An invasion of the There's fish There's something people. going on, something I guarantee you. Something fishy happening in the yeah. story. So he sticks her under the water and like they got like sensor readings and stuff. So, you know, Jean's like checking it out. Isn't like, he super strong? Aquaman? Yeah. 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 Couldn't he just keep her under the water? Yeah, well, he, he wants to study he wants to know what's in a up. controlled environment or whatever. Exactly. So Aquaman's like, all right, Jean, figure it out. I'll be in my quarters. He's got his own little room, which has like a little a little lake where he can just kind of like sensory deprivation himself. And uh, while he's in there, he's like having a mental nightmare about being back in San Diego and all the corpses coming up and being like, save us, Aquaman. Yikes. And then uh, Jean wakes him up and he's like, come on, get, get over here. And uh, Aquaman gives Jean a little bit of a hard time where he's like, I can't believe that like we're supposed to guard the Earth. The Earth is 70% water and we picked a station that's like furthest away from water we could possibly have picked. And anyway, Jesus, man. It's so I can see everything that's happening. Exactly. Whoa. I need to be anywhere at once, you jackass. We're so. in orbit. It really helps out trying to travel. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you want to be in water doesn't mean we put the watch down in the wrong place. No, exactly. <laughs> also, you found one person. How about you go back to San Diego and go back under the water, see if there are more people. Well, we need I'll to... keep track of no, her. He's got to figure it out first. He's got to figure it out. So Jean probes her mind and gets images of what she's thinking about while yep. she's under. And she, she has visions of her, of her parents. And then Jean basically pulls the memory of the day that San Diego fell in the ocean. And was so she just, also at the zoo? Yeah. So she's she gets in the... In, just the zoo fell in the ocean. Yeah. She, <laughs> she, she ditches her parents and she gets into the car with her boyfriend. And the two of them go, like, see some monkeys. And the monkeys are freaking out because the monkeys can sense that oh, things are going bad. Oh, they know going what's going to happen, yeah. And then, like, the, all of San Diego falls in the water. And, like, so Aquaman's like, I knew it was bad, but I didn't know, like... I, I, did, I never saw it I didn't firsthand. see it happen, and yeah. Seeing it happen firsthand is, like, horrifying. And yeah. then he's like, okay, so she blacked out. And then I mean, it's horrifying for everyone else. Not for me, though, because it's I, mean, I can no, breathe. He's having a hard time. It's just it's <laughs> he really sees them dying. It's terrifying. Yeah. But uh, then <clears throat> she wake she wakes up and she's surrounded by other people. And he sees that there's other people in San Diego. It's like okay, so you got to teleport me back so I can find these survivors. Right. So, and tell them not to come out of the water. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. So he goes back. Or be food crushed by stuff, debris or anything. Exactly. So he finds that like a pocket of people are stuck basically between segments of road and asphalt and ground okay. and building. And so Aquaman uses his aquatic powers to communicate with them all. And he's like, hey, I'm not normally telepathic, but since you're all kind of fish people right now, I can, <laughs> I can talk to you. But listen, like, don't leave the water or you'll die. Now stand back. And he like uses his great strength to lift the building out of the way. Cool. And free those people. So, and then now they gotta learn how to like Eat fish and like it, it, not get eaten by sharks. You'll see. So immediately once they can see sky, a couple of kids yeah, just yep. immediately start swimming towards the surface. Yeah, you've and been underwater for five weeks. Like, yeah. why have you not gotten accustomed to the fact that like it's okay? I know, to but stay? They, because they're stupid children. Yeah. So these stupid children are like swimming for the surface, and their mother is like, "Oh no! Like, please don't!" Mo-. And Aquaman's like, "Don't worry, it's fine." And they won't get far. They won't get far <laughs> because all the sharks have circled the area. Oh. And I mean, yeah, that would make me stay down. And he basically says, like, right now those sharks are obeying my commands, but there's a limit to my control. You may want to go back. So these children are, f- so these children are 
terrified into yeah. returning to their mother. He's got to teach them a lesson so they won't try that again. Aquaman <laughs> is a dick. <laughs> he's a he's a badass. Hey, he's effective. He's he's a dark knight of the water. <laughs> so he he frightens these children. That is a and Batman he, thing. He explains yeah. to them like you know, everybody thinks you're dead. There's you're all being mourned right now. Which I, I, I probably shouldn't have told you because that's going to make you want to go back more right. so you can see your loved ones. But, like, you can never leave the ocean ever again. You are irrevocably changed. What? How oh, do no, you know that? Because I've jumped to that conclusion. <laughs> and we don't know how or why. Yeah. You changed from breathing air above ground to breathing air underwater, but I'm pretty sure you can't go back. Ever again. So, get used to living in your own death, basically. Just surrounded by the thing that ruined you. So, and here's the thing. You won't be able to communicate because no. your vocal cords work with air. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Except. Get used to that. So, yeah. Uh, so, anyway, Lorena wakes up. Jean sees her and he's like, hey. She's like, yeah, big green guy. And so he he contacts her. He changes into something more appealing. Shoves her head back into water. Hey. Yeah. Well, no, she can, she, for some reason, she can talk and, like, breathe a little bit. Oh. Or at the very I least, mean, she can have a that conversation. That kid was okay. For a little yeah, while, he was, yeah. He, he didn't die right out. away. But that's true. Yeah. So, you know, they're watching Aquaman, like, Helping everybody right now <laughs> on the on the sensors. Yeah, the cameras that they have underwater. Yeah, and so she gets out of the tank, and Sean's like, "Oh, you, you're not you're not cured or anything. You you you, you got to get back in the tank." She's like, "No, I've got to go help him. Oh. You send me back down there to help." Okay. I'm I'm gonna be a new cool character. In the yeah, Aquaman I'm a sidekick. Story. Yeah. So she taps Aquaman on the shoulder because she's been teleported there, mm -hmm. and she's trying to indicate to Aquaman like, like what the hell is going on. Yeah. And he goes, "You can talk down here." You you have you have internal gills like you you've been you've become an Aquaman uh, and she's okay. like oh oh sorry. I guess I could have just tried yeah oops so anyway uh, Aquaman reveals that while he's been down there he also coordinated like a relief effort so there's all these different like first responders who are now wearing scuba scuba gear and like giving them apples and stuff <laughs> yeah uh, wouldn't Every single apple in that crate just suddenly float to the surface? Yes. <laughs> but he, but they're being handed directly to them, you see, except for that guy who's holding all of them. And, and, the, and the crate them. that's open to the water. Maybe they're weighted apples or something. The they're high density apples. High density apples. <laughs> Maybe there's a Remember there's a special portable gravity generator that's oh, underneath right the under there. <laughs> So many, the... so many thoughts. <laughs> or they're they're not really apples. So everyone they're just can... like they're just like really heavy food mm -hmm. like pellets made to look like apples. So, you, so you'd be more talk? comfortable yeah. with them. Yeah, they can all talk down there. <clears throat> uh, you, you, you guys could talk to each other now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so they do. Uh, so then a, a, a convenient uh, dolphin comes by and tells Aquaman there's something something crazy going on down something in the water. Something fishy going on. You might say. So Aquaman and Lorena go and they find this like crazy machine. Mm, maybe that's what caused Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Maybe he should oh. get her a bathing suit or something. Yeah, she's fine. We're in a cool outfit. In a tube top. Yeah. Well, who wouldn't want to see that? So uh, Aquaman, like, uses his Aquaman powers to see through the machine. He, like, opens a little thing, and there's, like, a brain in there. It looks more like a hematoma. Yeah. Which is made of, like, eyes and, and meat, and it's plugged into the machine. Dear God. And he's like, oh, my God, it's breathing. <laughs> so then we establish, like... Day-to-day -day life in this new San Diego, right. now dubbed in the story, Sub Diego. Yeah, Sub Diego. Story. And uh, that is what people would call it. Yeah. Like in the media, it'd mm -hmm. be Sub, Sub Diego. Diego. Well, yeah. they're still part of San Diego. Exactly. Yeah. So there is and still, that's still San Diego. And that's still San Diego. So that's still like, code. Trust me, if there's an above-ground San Diego and an underwater ground, underwater San Diego. You're not having the same laws. Oh no! In place. You gotta have. That's aquatic. Yeah, we gotta laws. call it. Well, you gotta. It's refer, aquatic. Justice. You gotta give it a name so when I talk about San Diego, you know which one I'm saying. The one underwater or the one above water? <laughs> yeah, I like that. The one underwater. Uh, I like that. Kevin Smith knows all about aquatic. Justice. That's right. He knows all about it. Yeah, aquatic <laughs> justice. So uh, Is that aquatic justice. Do they talk about like? What percentage of people have the gills? Was it everybody? Right. Was it like it only like ten percent? It was a percentage of San Diegans. Like, like how many? <laughs> we'll, we'll get how many into it. Okay, they but do. it's quite a few. Okay, is it just the people? <gasps> no, it also affected the dogs. <laughs> As you can see on this page. So the dogs are like making their way to the surface, and you know they're gonna die. Oh no! But a whale that Aquaman encouraged to help the people of San of Sub Diego 
are like blocking the dogs and using meat from the surface to encourage the dogs to go, to, like, back. go back underwater. So the so, dogs just now yes, there was a, got free. Yes, apparently, uh, according to one of the members of Sub Diego, they say that according to a website, uh, all the dogs woke up at once and had these abilities. Oh. Something about their unique dog metabolism made it such that that was the case. <laughs> That's the... Well, so <laughs> whatever. And it's sad because like they they realized this because quite a few dogs had already like, oh, desperately trying to go to the service. That's service. horrible. Like, let's work. Let, let's let's get a coordinate effort to save all the dogs. Right. San Diego. So Aquaman creates a literal barrier of whales at the shoreline. Oh, that's right. That's cool. Yeah. So meanwhile, uh, Aquaman. And then like seventeen of them are br are beached. Yeah. Well, because they were like too close to the. Edge. <laughs> yeah, but Aquaman could like lift them and move them. Yeah. But he doesn't have to. So he's talking to uh, Lorena and the dolphin about this like gross thing yeah and how it's like connected to this thing and there looks to be some kind of like an eyeball connected to like a sensor and some and some tubes and he's like mm. that's specifically looking at them yeah and he's like not like this it looks like it might be controlled by somebody and of course that's when we cut to this clandestine group of of businessmen who are like oh no aquaman knows or he's on to us what the fuck <laughs> yeah how freaking cliche! No, <laughs> so, my God, he knows. You know. The only the that only being thing said, he didn't do was take off his glasses. This, when he this said is it. true. But then uh, the lady next to him says, "As always, Ronald, you have a flair for the dramatic." <laughs> so we, do, we get the cliche, and then we undercut it with a joke. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, they're just like, "Like, what are we gonna do if Aquaman starts getting onto us? He's gonna call his more capable friends on the Justice League." Right. And, you didn't uh, think anyone was gonna find out? Yeah. So then they activate like the 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 second choice protocol right. and this He's horrible more thing capable friends <laughs> I mean they don't say that but no. clearly, clearly that's, that's what we concern. say yeah. oh and no if Aquaman finds out he might tell Superman <laughs> <laughs> Superman then we're actually thing. screwed <laughs> yeah in the meantime we have it like a week or two <laughs> luckily Batman won't care because we're not in Gotham exactly so the, the, is the, it my city no then I don't care. So the the hematoma like comes to life and attacks them. Gross. Oh, it's got a lamprey mouth. Great. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's made of like, and it seems to be made of like all kinds of different, all kinds aquatic of shit. Crap. things, like lampreys and whales and all kinds of crazy shit. That's right. Yeah. And she's and he's like, I think it's alive. I think it's some kind of sea creature. And she's like, well, Whatever it is, can't you punch it? And he's like, I most certainly can. And then he's about to, and he's like, Wait a minute, I don't have to punch it because it's not all one creature. It's all a bunch of creatures. So all I have to do is tell them to separate. And then they all just like explode into a gazillion pieces of things. Ugh. So it's like coral. Were they all? It's like a colony animal. Yeah, it's like a colony. Well, it's, it's made by the, by the evil corporation. Right. It's probably just a genetic hybrid of a bunch of different sea creatures. But they were all aquatic. Yes. Yeah. And uh, unfortunately, when it exploded, its shrapnel killed. Because there's actual pieces of jagged metal oh, in no. it. Oh, yeah. well, no. To keep it connected to the machine. So, he killed his dolphin friend. He killed by, his dolphin uh, friend. And he says he was very wise and helpful through the years. He'll be missed. Oh, wow. So he personally knew this dolphin. It wasn't just like a dolphin. Oh, no, it wasn't just, just any grabbed. dolphin. No, this was his, like, his informant. Up in the stakes. Yeah. Now i got to train a new dolphin. <laughs> you know how long that takes? About a week. <laughs> and I don't have a week. Because we got to come to the bottom of this mystery. So he uses his, like magic hand and Aquaman powers to connect to the creature mm -hmm. or at least like some of it to try and see like what's up and he's like whatever the creature was and whatever it ate or knew I can know so like he sees pieces of where it came from and how it came to be and okay. it's memories yes yeah. so he sees a vision of the doctor who was behind all of it ah. the one who made him and the one who engineered this the, the destruction of San Diego it's Dr. Geist, a character that was invented for the story. Oh. But he's like, he's right next to the, he's a block away. And so Lorraine is like, let's go get him. And he's like, yeah. Yeah. So, but not you, because you can't breathe out of water. Or maybe you can now. Yeah, she's kind of like, well, she has to because she's obviously Aquaman's new psychic. So, uh, <laughs> No, Geist, I mean in the story, how does she go? Oh, we don't explain that. So uh, Geist <laughs> is in his office and he's got some like beta fish or whatever. Yeah. And they're like looking at where Aquaman is coming from. <laughs> But of course, guys doesn't notice. Are they, they're are they fish. warning him? No, they're just looking because he's listening. Because he's he's seeing where he is through the fish. In right, his and tank. they're like, whoop. And he says, like, you stay here while I go deal with him. And she's like, oh no way! Like hell. If, if you you he's connected to my he killed my parents. Right. I'm your goddamn sidekick. Exactly. <laughs> so he he says, you know, 
partner. Yeah. We don't know what this guy's capable of. And she says, well, I know exactly what he's capable of, and he's going to learn what I'm capable of. Oh. And what I'm capable of is making empty threats and joining Aquaman. What I'm capable of is breathing above water and below water <laughs> and always having my clothes stay in place. That's right. So they get to the surface, and he's just like, Lorena, look at you. And she's like, what? I'm too young? I'm a girl? And he's like, no, you're out of the water and you're fine. Yeah. She's like, huh. And he's like, all right. Let's go. As long as you agree not to, like, kill him or anything. She's like, okay. Yeah. So Yeah, no problem. Should we not study this, the fact that you're out of the water and okay? Not right now. There's no time. So, here, Martian Manhunter, you teleport her back and study her and figure out what's going on. (laughs) Yeah. I'll take care of the bad guy. No, he secretly wants a a sidekick. Who doesn't? A hot sidekick? Why not? Yeah. So, uh, we meet up with... Every time when I'm done with a mission underwater, all I want to do is bang someone. You know who's there? Fish. (laughs) It sucks. And sometimes Mara, but most, like other times she's mad at me because I'm not like leading Atlantis, <laughs> right? Or whatever. Or whatever. Or the Atlanteans or whoever they are. So Geist is like, one day they'll learn. One day it will it'll all have been worth it. And then like the fish are like looking at the door, and he's like, "What are you looking at?" And then Aquaman just kicks the door in. It explodes. It's awesome. Lorena like kicks him a lot and yeah. just like yells at him, and then he picks her up like a little adorable Aquaman cat. Does. Yeah. Aquaman. And uh, and he's like, Lorena, that's enough. I need to know like what's going on here. And he's like, Well, what's going on? Don't hit me again. And he's like, You, I should let her let her tear you apart because she's one of your survivors. And he's like, Oh, there were survivors. Like this is wonderful. Well, he didn't plan that. And she was hoping for it, but it didn't oh, seem like there were I see. any. Okay. Uh, so then he grabs. Uh, there Geist. didn't seem like there were any. <laughs> What about all those people who are now living a new life in San Diego under the water? Yeah, you know, what about all the first responders that were distributed apples? What about uh, the kid who crawled out of the water? It's all and... within the span of like maybe 12 to 24 hours. Well, I don't watch the news. Exactly. I was too busy brooding and, and contemplating my, my horrible deeds. There. It fell into the water. And now, I'll oh, you know what? I'm going to make myself a sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to listen to just Dylan and just chill out. I remember that uh. I desperately wanted to know if there were any survivors. Yeah, you might want to get like some scuba gear and go down there. Yeah, maybe you should check since you knew this was going to happen. Nah. <laughs> couldn't. So. Okay. Aquaman just like kicks the crap out of this guy. He like shoves his head in the fish tank. Oh. He's like, this is what it's like. You, you like drowning? Is this fun for you? And then he like <laughs> kicks him across the room. Batman. And, yep. uh, you know, he's throwing him around. He's like, was it worth it? And the guy's like, yes, damn it, it was worth it. Don't you understand? No. The polar ice caps are melting, and all of humanity will be underwater in such a short amount of time. I'm trying to save humanity by making them into fish people. Right. Hold that thought. <laughs> Kicking nuts. Superman, come here. Yes, I'm here. All right, go up to the polar ice caps, blow on them a little bit, <laughs> rip freeze them. Oh, oh. Done. <laughs> you were saying... Oh my god, I'm a monster. Yeah. He does this at least twice a <laughs> I month. I feel like global warming could not possibly be a problem when you have this many superheroes. Wouldn't yeah. they just fix it? I mean, not only just superheroes, but super geniuses. Yeah. Like Mr. Super Terrific scientists. Solve that problem in a, in a heartbeat. Yeah. Yeah, but all oh, the polar ice caps are melting. Superman can blow on them. Done. Yeah. So next problem. He says like it's inevitable that the that the polar ice caps are going to melt and humanity be underwater and everything. Right. So, that so I have to make them all fish people. So I'm the hero, not you, not the Justice League. I'm the hero. And then he uh. and look at all my data that proves that I like basically like screwed over everybody. I, I you know he he stole some of Aquaman's DNA from a previous story uh-huh. in which Aquaman like had his hook hand and like drank a glass of wine. So yeah, I stole your day, your DNA and I laced yeah. it with this like- oh, no, with, I didn't just kill lots of people. I, I violated your, your genetic material from you yep. without telling you. And then I, and then I- uh, So you see, it's all fine. Yeah, and, I, and I, I used it like kind of like a virus and I infected like everyone in San Diego with it. But here's the problem. I used half, I, I used impure DNA because you're only half Atlantean. Right, and that's I need probably pure why Atlantean. it didn't work all the time. So he's like, there's no way you stole my DNA. And he's like, no, like I, well, I manipulated you events. Exactly. Yeah. I manipulated events so that I could become a waiter at a hotel that you would appear at as a dignitary for the Justice League. And then when you had a drink of wine during like a ceremonious event, I took it and then I used it and I laced the water supply of San Diego with your DNA. And so now they're all like fish people. And then I waited like you know, three years and 10 months for, for, the, for the effects to, to sink in. And I, I knew your kind was coming because there was like National Enquirer articles about gill men appearing from the surface. Like apparently there were a couple of trials like with dogs and with like children that like turned them into horrible monsters. But, but now, now is my time. Haha, I'm obviously a mad scientist of some kind. Yeah. And Aquaman's <laughs> like, you 
could not have possibly achieved any of this by yourself. There must be right, some kind of obviously. evil organization behind you. Right. Like, tell me who it is and what they did. There's a giant engine hooked up to, like, a crazy... Well, it's dead now, but, like, crazy <laughs> hodgepodge of aquatic life. There's no way you made all that. Right. Your apartment maybe costs, like, $2,100 a month. Yeah. Like, what? please. There's a giant engine in the water. No, they didn't tell me about that. No, I, mean, I, I, I was just making anything. fish people. I, <laughs> no, he's totally aware of it. Yeah. He's just like, who helped you? And then he like leans in close and he's like, or so help me God, I will kill you. And you're like, oh no. Oh, he's so and then hardcore. He goes, no, I don't think you're going to kill me. You're, you're, I'm just a defenseless man. You, there's no way you can beat me. Sure. And he's like, well, then I'll just leave you for Lorena, who really wants to kill you. Right. Lorena? Why don't you, L Lorena? And she's having like a seizure. Oh. And he's like, oh no, we gotta get her in the water. And he's like, no, I can save her right now by using my science. So he sciences her back to life and <laughs> saves her. And one of my favorite moments in the book is when he's like, I gotta get back in the water. So he's leaving. And the doctor's like, yeah, that's probably best. And I'll be here to continue this conversation whenever it's convenient for you. <laughs> and then Aquaman's like, what? How about now? And he yeah. grabs him. <laughs> Yeah. Damn it! My mouth got me no, in another no, situation. No. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then so he, he drags him into the water and they're like at the, you know, the, the main entrance point for Sub Diego. Mm -hmm. And he's like, you can't bring me underwater. I'll, I'll drown. Obviously, I don't have the gills. I, obviously, I didn't do yeah, it myself. I didn't. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to save you. I didn't make stuff. myself into a hideous monster. No way. And he goes what, like, what happens if like, you know, it shrinks my dick? Right? <laughs> Not like I it's can't live with that. Not yeah. like it's getting me in any, any trouble, and as it is, it's not like this guy's like getting it on the regular. <laughs> so like, he forces one of the first responders to give Geist his equipment, okay. and they go down there, and so he gets to see like all the death, yeah, and carnage that he's wrought, and so he can feel like an asshole, and he kind of does, and uh, only kind of though. Yeah, yeah. He feels justified because this was going to happen anyway. Oh yeah. Well, and but he didn't have to see it. Now he has to see neither it. Neither did he have to engineer all of their deaths. Like, he didn't have to sink the right. city to do it. Right, He could have just, like, made it into, like, a, a, a drug that, like, some pharmaceutical company Well, but sell. then you wouldn't know. Right. You wouldn't know I did it. Well, no, you wouldn't know if it would really work. Oh, yeah, that's true. He when the city it. is actually flooded, like, you know. Yeah. He goes, you knew this was going to happen, but what if they knew that you were responsible for it? <laughs> you know what they do to you? They destroy you. They rip you apart. And he's like, it's not my fault. Like, I'm trying to save people. I'm a good guy. <sighs> Rather than solve global warming, I'll turn everyone into fish people. Yeah, I'll just yeah. adapt to it. There. Now global warming isn't a problem. Um, you know that global warming also causes the oceans to become more acidic, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, did you help make their skin more dense or help them be able to like breathe in this this new version yeah. of the ocean? What about when all the life in the ocean is like wiped out by the by coral getting destroyed and yeah. all the species going extinct? How, what will people eat? Well, we'll all be dead by then anyway. <laughs> It's going to take such a long time. Look, I can't fix every problem. I made everyone into fish people, all right? That's something. A look, buck stops look, there. This is called step one. Yeah. yeah. Step two, that's up to somebody else. Yeah. That's up to the new, the noble people of Sub Diego. <laughs> so he, he has a meltdown where he's like seeing all these dead people and, right. and then he sees all the survivors and he's like, no, you don't understand. The people that financed me and helped me, like they they put like a secret spy camera in my brain. And so like what they, what I see, they see. And so Aquaman uses his magic hand to dig into his brain and pull it out. Gross. Oh, it's actually there? He's yeah. not just insane? <laughs> no, no, no. There's really like aliens in his head. Oh, it's, it's just a camera. Yeah. And so the organization are like... I mean... Oh, shit. I should have known that. We've seen the organization, but yeah. at the same time... But like, yeah, it's like... Still. So now they're like, okay, that didn't work out. Uh, I don't know. What do you think we should do? <laughs> so... Uh, I'm going to uh, bail because Aquaman's going to find us. Yeah. yeah. So... Basically, the Geist is like, I never knew who they were. They kept everything a secret. I don't even know, like, their faces. They, everything, everything was still, like, like, you know, anonymous parcels and phone calls and stuff. Right. He's like, but they do know who, everything about me, and they will kill me. And I, if I'm going to be able to, like, help these people in some way using my brilliant science brain, like, I, they're going to kill me. And, and you've got to keep me alive. Right. So Aquaman's like, hmm. So then they organize... You know, other scientists. I don't really need your brain I have your notes. Yeah. And I got Batman. I could just give all your information to someone else who's not a dick. Right. I could give him to Lex Luthor. I don't he'd really probably do a better job. in any way. <laughs> so uh, Aquaman releases a flotation raft that Geist then gets on top of, and they're watching him through like a satellite feed, the evil organization. Uh -huh. Right. And then he slits his wrists and dips them in the ocean and then... Sharks leap up and rip the, the the rubber raft to shreds, and then seemingly eat him. And Aquaman's like, "No, 
No, boys, down! I, yeah. You have to resist your urges. So the organization is like, well, he's dead. Okay, moving on. And then uh, he he's he's returned to them, and it's like, man, oh. like you had to work really, like I had to work really hard to like show, to, to let the the sharks not eat you. Right. That was part of his plan. That, yeah, yeah. They the, want him to think. They want the organization to think that, that he's Geist dead, died. so they don't try to kill him. Exactly. So they don't look for him. Yeah. I and did says, cut my wrist, though. How are you going to solve this? Oh no, you're going to bleed out underwater. <laughs> yeah, I. That's never going to clot. Here's the thing: they don't show you how they solve the the, the wrist slitting issue. Well, he didn't really slit his wrist. Yeah, it could be that he looked like he slit his wrist because we do see a bunch of like dead fish. Yeah, so it wasn't his full of blood. blood it so like, it was just like it was fish blood. That Which don't somewhere. really bleed very off, very much if you cut them. But in any event, they uh, they they basically set up a permanent resident for Geist to live in Sub Diego with scuba with equipment. scuba equipment. Wow. Okay. Like, this is basically your prison now. It's a very expensive. Uh, oh operation. yeah. Exactly. Just continuously bringing them down. It mm-hmm. needs like ten frigging like tanks a day. Yeah. Jesus. Uh-huh. So, I feel like the organization would have a harder time finding him on land. In Sub Diego, clearly they have things underwater, right? They don't have eye, they, they they destroyed all the eyes and ears. Yeah, His eyes, the the hematoma's eyes, like yeah. no, that's all gone. That's it. Yeah. That's that all they had. It. That was what they had. That's that's kind that's of a, all they needed, it's really. A big, uh, it's a pretty big operation. Thing. Yeah. So, basically, Aquaman then becomes because he, they, the idea is Pfeiffer was like Aquaman was kind of unrelatable. Like he was the king of the ocean. There's all these like Atlantean politics, which Peter David like loved. Mm-hmm. But Pfeiffer's like I don't and his hot wife. Yeah, and, and Pfeiffer's like I don't want to do that. I want to. I want to make Batman and not right. in the ocean. So like now, Sub Diego is like Aquaman City that he protects. Does what, he like? Does forever? he perch on yeah. top of submerged buildings? He just swims around and uses <laughs> and his, his fish to so like. So it's just like ah, oh, fuck Atlantis. I don't really want to deal with that. Yeah. It's like Sub Diego is my responsibility now. Okay. It's so, like there's a guy who's like going to cardiac arrest and like there's a first responder trying to like give him CPR and then an eel shows up and zaps him and he's like woo and like. Okay. And there's a couple of, there's like a, a dude who's trying to like steal pearls from a dead lady. And then an octopus shows up that's controlled by Lorena. And she's like a superhero who's like kicking ass and taking names in Sub Diego. And Aquaman perches on a giant statue and he's like, so far, so good. From all in all in day's work for new Batman. <laughs> and new Robin. For Sub Batman and Sub Robin. So. This is weird. Then, uh, then there's this guy who's like a mob guy who was a member of San Diego or Sub Diego, he's got the gill problem. Yeah. And uh, he's being interrogated and uh, questioned by this like unseen figure. Uh-huh. And he's being, he's strapped to this buoy. Right. And he keeps like coming up out of the water. So it's right. more or less like they're inverting it because he's like, yeah, he's, they he's pull it down underwater. Yeah. So he can breathe and then they release it. it go. Yeah. And then they just, it's like waterboarding. Exactly. But then they leave him out there and he like dries out in the sun. Gross. Uh, the other subplot is that there's a lady who is giving birth but uh, when she gives birth to the baby, the baby doesn't have gills. Oh. So Aquaman brings it to the surface, and now he's like, no, there's no way. Like, this isn't fair. These people are irrevocably changed. They can never become regular people again. So we have to make this baby into no! a sea creature. No! So he's... <laughs> that is terrible! Well, 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 why wouldn't you? There's nothing wrong with being a, a living under the water, yeah. is there? It's just as good as being uh, yeah. above the water. What? What's so horrible about making the baby live underwater? No, mm-hmm. it's not. No, it's horrible. <laughs> uh, you mean a baby that doesn't know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, it's gonna try and constantly so try to get to the surface. it doesn't care. It doesn't have a life above land. Yeah. Why, why shouldn't I turn it into an underwater right, exactly. creature? Right, exactly. It's like a circumcision, really. Like, he doesn't know. My yeah. question is, why didn't it affect the baby? Because well, it because it was heritable or the, she got pregnant before they were changed. Oh, there you go. So the baby didn't get that it genetic didn't material. Didn't get that DNA. Yeah. Uh, share. Uh, so they so they asked um, so they asked guys to like work on the baby. He does, and he gives him, and he ruins this baby forever. Uh, <laughs> the other subplot is amazing because there's a meeting at the San Diego like city council where they're like, okay, we're not gonna have our meeting. They're talking to one of our delegation from Sub Diego, and they're like, we're not gonna like have like every third meeting in Sub Diego. Okay, <laughs> no, you have to come here and like this guy. <laughs> It's like, well then, I'm afraid we're going to have to secede from San Diego and become our own autonomous entity with our own laws and government and everything. I mean, that's kind of fair. Yeah. 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 So they secede. Uh, Aquaman is like, 
You know, they're, they're like, no, you're not going to succeed. That's stupid. You can't you, do that. You, you're part of a, you're part of the, the city. You just just come back here. We'll work it out. You know, we got right. we got first responders. We got Aquaman. We, we've created an entire infrastructure in this horrible city where like now there's like have to be at least 20 to 50 first responders in scuba gear at all times right, like, to help people to help people like facilitate living underwater, which they're not supposed to be doing. But instead, we're like, no, it's just, it's cool because they're underwater. And that's right. that's a new status quo for Aquaman. Yeah, underwater Why isn't now. Aquaman doing all that? Yeah. Oh, so, because he's busy? Well, he's got to fight bad guys and stuff. Yeah, so Aquaman enforces the the, 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 the secession. And then wow. there's a couple of dudes who are like trying to break into a bank. And Aquaman shows up with a killer whale to scare them. Yep. And uh, they, you know, so he's... You it's know. so relatable now. I know. <laughs> so then we meet up with... It's just like being above... Land, there's banks and so forth yeah. that people break in, but underwater. Exactly. So Aquaman can help because he can't help above. No, no. Well, it'd be boring and it wouldn't yeah. be. It wouldn't be Aquaman. It's supposed to be cool and underwater. So like you've seen all the boxes, right? Aquaman has his own city to protect. He's got a he's got a cute little sidekick in, in very little clothing. Uh, you know, he's he's more aggressive and he's trying to like solve crimes and he's he protects his own city and everything. Right. Then, but it's not a weird like alien. No. Te high Nor is technology it like, city with weird stuff I don't understand. Right. Or have to it's make like up a normal American city. Exactly. Made of American people. It's the best of both worlds. Who, who live in more or less like a slum? Because it's like a ruined yeah. area. Like, yeah. how do you sleep? <laughs> so, anyway. Uh, how do your clothes not deteriorate all the time? Yeah. Well, you have to get special underwater clothes that are right. like designed to work underwater. Made of, like, fish scales and stuff. I guess. Although I never see them actually transfer into that area. But, uh, so then there's like, there's like an evil, not an evil. There's a, there's a crime organization. All the crime bosses. Or all the crime people who operated their mob in San Diego. Right. They were caught in Sub Diego's right. wake as well. Sure. So they're all meeting up and then a like new cool looking bad guy shows up and he's like, you know, your your boss, Salerno, is dead. And I killed him and I'm in charge now. He was the guy on the buoy? He was on the he was the guy on the buoy. And you're like, oh no. And apparently like and one of them, you know, tries to resist and he uses his like cool aquatic powers to squish him. Oh. Gross. Yeah. That's terrific. It's horrifying. So he like squeezes the water around him, like he controls water, I yeah, guess. Yeah. Okay. Uh, or at least that's what it seems. So Aquaman finds out about the death of Salerno, and he's like, "I gotta get to the bottom of this. I gotta find out who killed this mob guy and what's going on." Right. So he calls Batman. <laughs> okay. And so Batman and I'm not Aquaman, actually detective. I need a real detective. Exactly. I'm just kind of pretending to be one right now. I can't. I can't Here's the thing. I know a lot of stuff about under the water. Mm -hmm. I was able to help with that. Right. Yeah. I am now very lost. I don't actually know anything about crime. Right. <laughs> so, basically, uh, Aquaman delivers all this information. Batman figures it out. And Batman's like, hey, Arthur, what's going on? Listen, so, like, the problem you have is you're dealing with a guy named Mort Coolidge who goes by the name The Eel. He used to go by other names like The Mentalist and Twitch, but that never really worked. He has low-level telekinesis powers. And he tried to make a, make a go of Gotham. Didn't work out. I kicked the crap out of him. And then uh, he moved to San Diego, like, back in, like, 1999. Uh, and everyone kind of assumed that he died. But clearly, he's alive and he's operating in Sub Diego. Mm -hmm. And so uh, he's like, listen, uh, here is some, here's a cool device that I developed that should dampen his telekinetic ability so you can punch him in the face. And, yeah. uh, and Aquaman's like, cool, Batman, thanks. And Batman's like, are you sure that you want to just, like, use this device and punch him in the face and bring him to justice? And Aquaman's like, uh, yeah, why? And Batman's like, some people prefer the chase. You know, sometimes Clark likes it. I know that a bunch of people like Barry used to love it. You know, some people like their, they have a little give and take with their villains. They chase after them, they do a whole thing. I just, and other others like, no, you're like me. The two of us just <laughs> want him out. And Batman's like, fair enough. So Aquaman slaps a telekinetic dampener on the eel and then brings him to the surface where I guess we're establishing some new Commissioner Gordon type characters who are like the Coast Guard. Yeah. And Aquaman delivers the eel to them. Uh, really? But then he, he doesn't take care of this underwater. Yeah, why does he create like an underwater jail? I or know. Something? No, or no, an no underwater, screw this guy. like court. Because then you'd have the Arkham situation. Plus, we're, we're, we're not even sure if this is ever going to work. Right. We don't know if the story's going to happen. So right. they, they put him on the ground. Water starts leaking out. He's like, oh no, was there water in the helmet? Because it might have screwed up the telekinetic dampener. And of course, the eel gets free. And you mean it wasn't designed to work underwater? Yeah, because the eel can like use his telekinetic abilities on like on water itself. Oh. So he 
creates like a typhoon, and then he turns water into like sharp needles that shoot into the oh, people that he's that Aquaman's teaming up with, and then ultimately uh, Aquaman just like swims up the center and just punches him in the face. Okay. And then just keeps punching him. You know, uh, the the eel gets a couple of cool licks in. He he uses his telekinetic like water thing ability against Aquaman and like starts like making him all emaciated and and, and squished together, mm. but. Uh, but Arthur's built up tougher stuff than that. Well, no. Uh, Ar- well, yes, he is. But also, uh, you know, he's like, I can't, you know, you, you can't control me. I can control the water, but, like, there's no fish or anything to, to, to bother me. Right. And, you know, I've got, like, I've got my, my breathing apparatus on. And Aquaman's like, yes, but you don't control the plankton. The plankton in the water I can control as well. And so they sneak into the suit and oh. they get into his body and then, like, screw him up. And like, I had one worm its way into your brain. Basically, yeah. yes. Now it's just Ew. eating nerves and synapses. I mean, it might as well Locked be. Up. You he's can't like, do maths now. He's like, you've been breathing it into your body ever since you got here. So I, I own you now. Uh, Whoa. Yeah. And he's like, so, he's like, uh, when you get back to the surface, they're gonna build, they're gonna build a water jail for you. They're gonna build a water cell for you to operate. In. Not that we're gonna create a cell for you. Down here. You're gonna live on land, but underwater. Oh also, God. why does it have to be a water jail? Why can't they? Because he breathes underwater. Because because the eel has his gills too. Oh, the eel does. Yeah. Okay. So he's like, you tell everyone up there to stay the hell away from Sub Diego. It's under my protection. Uh-huh. And then the clandestine organization's like, mm, his protection, a eh? because like clearly they're also listening in and they have, right. they have eyes and ears everywhere. And they're like, well, it's time Aquaman learned who's really in charge. This old, gross-looking man. Now, why this, did they make him so gross looking? Well, so because he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. This is Will Pfeiffer's last issue of Sub Diego and Aquaman ever. So we don't get to find out what happens. No. I don't want to know what happens. This wasn't fun. <laughs> this is fun. It's, it's just like, it's a cool. new status quo for Aquaman. Aquaman is, is water Batman. What do you think of that? It is dumb. <laughs> It's, it's something. Uh, I mean, like, it's, I get the idea that, like, especially if you are given the opportunity to write for a flagship DC character, right? Like, right. this is Pfeiffer's first time writing any major superhero. Yeah, okay. So he's like, oh, oh, cool, but Aquaman's lame, and everyone thinks he sucks. Right. Because that's Super Friends cartoon. How much can you really do underwater without a lot of people? Right. Right. Eventually, you're running out of stories. Well, especially if I don't want to do it about Atlantis. Atlantis, right. or, oh, another uh, underwater research facility is in trouble. Yeah, right, exactly. Like, it. A, a cast of, done of, 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 of half a dozen. Cool. No, it's true. So, like making... changing people into gill people so mm-hmm. that they live in water? All right. Yeah, you're down for that story? But then it's just like, and now I have to find out, like, I have to bring people to justice. Yeah. Not the person yeah. who turned them all into gill people. No, now he works for me. He's like a member of Sub Diego. He, he's, his... Miracle science is what's going to facilitate Sub Diego to be a place for Aquaman to not feel alone. You mean yeah. people who used to be human yeah, who don't yeah. want to be and now here live underwater? <laughs> yes, I'm going to much like him. Yeah, I'm going to work with this genocidal madman to maintain a prison for these unwilling participants instead of like well, it's sending them back. They can't go back. Y- they, uh, they're permanently altered. They, I'm pretty sure the science changed them one way. <laughs> uh, the science could no, change them back. No, they're permanently altered. Lex they Luthor invents a pill that can give you superpowers. I feel like if you gave uh, whatever the hell his name is, notes, Geist's notes, to Luthor. <laughs> or Batman. Or, or Batman, or Mr. Terrific, or any genius, or anyone from New Genesis, or just plugged in this problem to a mother box, it would solve this issue immediately. Just but Aquaman's board- lonely. <laughs> He's like, come on, man, just, just let me have this. And by the <laughs> way, they keep Sub Diego going. They give Lorena, like, because Lorena, like, is basically Aquaman too, yeah. they give her a costume. Of course they do. And they, the costume She's they Robin give her. or the, Aqualad. She's yeah, Aqualad. She's Aqualad. By the way, uh, she, she's Aqualady. The costume she gets is actually kind of cool because at some point or another they were like, let's make Aquaman cool. And they gave him like a stealth suit that's blue so he can like blend it with the water. Uh-huh. And uh, so she gets the cool blue suit. And it's a suit that like nobody remembers. Wow. We almost did the story where he gets that suit, but I was like, let's do Sub Diego. 
<laughs> so wait, there are more stories after this. But there not are more by stories about Sub Diego, but not by Will Pfeiffer. But not by Will Pfeiffer. Oh, Sub Diego <laughs> or American Title? I don't know which one you yeah. like better. Uh, in the description below, knowing the origin of American Title, I prefer the Sub Diego. <laughs> in, in the description below this video, let me know what you think a better title for the story would be. I would like to know. I, I feel like if I just gave it 10 minutes, I'd come up with something better than Sub Diego or American Title. Aquaman's fault. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That took a minute. It took less than a minute. But we'll see you guys next week with another episode of Back Issues. And don't forget to, I guess, check out Aquaman. I am. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. It's going to be fun. The movie? Probably. Yeah. It looks cool. Hopefully. It's not going to be this, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. I was going to do, like, I was thinking about doing Peter David's story, but, like, you know, where he loses the hand, he gets the hook. Yeah. But I'm like, it's, No. Well, it, it's a sprawling two-volume epic that's like this long. No. Mm. And there's not like a clear story. It's more just like a bunch of stuff that happens to Aquaman. This, right. is, a, this is an arc. You can buy this it. Is, it's in yeah. the description below this video if you want to get a copy of it too. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. See you then. Yeah, no, I'm getting around to giving it to myself. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not ready, okay? Just, I'm just a little tired. Just give me, just give me a minute. Okay. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> I'm a freak! I can't believe you did this! Oh, saline, you asshole. Oh. <laughs>